Welcome to the One Up Podcast. I am your host, El Caballo, a.k.a. Tony, a.k.a. The Don, a.k.a. The CEO, a.k.a. of AKAs. It's me. You already know. This ain't no fucking filler. It's your boy. Here with some of my nearest and dearest. Got my dog, Mateo, in the building. A.k.a. Ooh, shit, the I'm going dumb. first? Yeah, you first. <laughs> Dope boy thought it was him. He was ready, but he wasn't. A.k.a. Dumb Nail Master? A.k.a. Weight Lifter? A.k.a. Tyrannos- Tyrannosaurus Flex, some would say. Damn. I like that. Tyrannosaurus <laughs> Flex. A.K.A. the one with many backgrounds. A.K.A. he's not your average Mexican. Yeah. Also in the building, the many faced <laughs> God King himself, Pucho, A.K.A. Damn. master editor. <laughs> A.K.A. <laughs> what? That was a lot of aggression. That, that was good. Oh. <laughs> that's some. That's some hype right there. <laughs> <laughs> A.K.A. not your favorite purple nurple nipples. Not lips, because he's not the purple lip bandit. Also, a.k.a. maybe VP of the company. I don't know yet. Depends how I feel about him. Still just an average worker. CEO motherfucker. Wow. Everybody wants to <laughs> talk. Like that. Yeah, I'm going to tell you this, all right? And I'm going to oh, put it out there right now. Get it out of the way. Not a fan of the beanie. You don't like this? Something, something about it is just... It's a little off-putting for you? Eh. It makes awkward. it feel like you're a snowboarder, like right, like a weirdo, like the guys who wear beanies indoors. Like, damn, you cold, Tony? I like the look. Nah, I just don't got a haircut. <laughs> like my shit's looking scarp. You know what I mean? Well, you're trying to hide your hair. I see. He's trying to hide the M. I'm going more into my. You don't cholo got no fitteds. I got fitteds, but I'm going to my cholo shit. Oh shit! That's some cholo shit. <laughs> Yo, fucker! Hey, fucker! fucker. <laughs> Who passed the wire? Pass the wire. <laughs> Last but not least, my Sk- dog DJ Doey Fresh, aka Slap Your Favorite DJ, Damn. aka the man with the master plan, the master aka man. Mel Brooks, twenty twenty two, twenty twenty two. Tony didn't like that. I like that. That was good energy. (laughs) Last but not least, Doughboy. Give him a round of applause because he stepped up today. Give him a fucking round of applause. Give him him a round of applause because he took my fucking job. It's the last time you do that shit. Let it be known. Thank you. I'm joking. That was pretty hype. I like the energy you gave to the. Now you're going to think these guys can do that shit and you guys can't. It It was a little too loud, to be honest. Facts. Yeah. <laughs> shit is beast. That shit was damn, that shit was a little hype. Did you drink some coffee or some shit? Cause that shit was levels of fucking hype. What are you tweeting the other morning? What type of coffee is DJ Envy on? What was oh, up with that? Yo, so I was listening to the Breakfast Club usually in the morning just to see the dumb shit people be commenting and Wait. shit. Wait, 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 when does Tony tweet? When the fuck did Tony start tweeting? Your boy tweets, dog. I'll be tweet, tweet. Damn. Got he got philosophical. Once a month. Yeah, he's, he tweets he's got once a month, and he used up his tweet by tweeting about DJ's Envy coffees. Nah, he was coming at um, Angela Yee, like, yo, you took 10 days off. Da, 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 da. She's like, I got vacation time. And it was just like, he kind of noticed that he beats it on her, so he was slowly, you know, coming back, and then... Charlemagne was like, nah, don't slow down. You know, he was hyping the shit up because, you know, he's an antagonist ass motherfucker. So he was just going at it. And I was, I loved every second of it. And then he was like, um, he, uh, en- as Envy's pedaling, back, back pedaling, he was like, no, you know, it's just hard because he can't read and I can't read. And he was like, don't add me to your you can't read shit because you was just coming at her. I was like, damn, this man's not letting it die down. <laughs> but uh, it was just funny. I just tweeted it up. So what does um, the coffee got to do with this? It's just it's hype levels in the morning? Like that coffee wakes you up and then you're just ready to be on some shit. Like, it's you know cocaine. I mean? Damn. Oof. That's, that's crazy. That, that booger sugar. Do people still call it booger sugar, though? I have Definitely. no. I don't know if anyone's ever called it booger sugar. Yeah, I was about to say. 
I love Tonys. Do they still? Like, I've never heard this. This is brand new to me. (laughs) Burger sugar. That's fire. That's not fire. It's like Starsky and Hutch, though. How he, they were putting the sugar in the in the coffee, but it was actually cocaine. Damn, God, was it cocaine? A deep cut. Yeah, yeah it was no, cocaine. They tested awesome. it in the lab, and it came back not cocaine, just plain sugar. So then they were at the crib, and they were out of sugar. So they're like, "Fuck it, let's just use the fake cocaine." But it was actually real cocaine. Damn. That's how they discovered that the the drug dealers had like this alternate way to like pass the the. The the cocaine test or whatever. I, I didn't could even. Lab could, I don't remember. Could you imagine that. just accidentally being on a drug? I've never had that experience, but I know that's a thing that ha- that has happened. Like, it sounds I miserable. Would, <laughs> I would be so scared. I don't like stuff like that. Don't yeah. You don't like uppers. Um, no, don't drug me. I'm yeah, don't drug me without that. my consent. <laughs> um, you know there's what? that I'll... story. Go ahead. No, go ahead. What story? There's a story of Burt Kreischer and Ari Shafir, two comedians, and they were friends. And Ari one night put ecstasy or drugged him and put like ecstasy or something like that in his drink. And uh, he didn't tell him until like maybe 10 minutes later. And he's like, dude, why? Why would you do that? Like, I'm here with my family. I'm here with my kids. <laughs> and- <laughs> That's um, So. Yeah, uh, it happens. Don't don't drug people. That shit is not fucking cool. I was gonna that say that would be fucked up to do with them drugs. Like, like shrooms could take hours before it'll kick in. No, and I think LSD mm. as well. Shrooms are like one hour, forty five minutes. Well, yeah. Depends, but regardless, a weed, a weed edible could be a little bit longer than an hour. All right, though. It's I know. Important. I was just saying. <laughs> I was very just saying. important for what I was saying. Thank you. <laughs> I was gonna say like I'm I'll be saying, da- gotta damn. come with the facts. I'll put the we train. are a hundred percent factual podcast. We are we are a hard hit, hitting facts only podcast. Facts only. I was gonna say I was gonna definitely drug one of y'all, all of y'all one night. Just be like, yo, let's take shots. Roofy, roofy, roofy. Be no roofy. Take it back. Instant recording the whole night. Would that be fun? We would just pass out. Wouldn't I've never. Never done, never done roofies. Apparently, that's the thing that some people do recreationally. Besides the malicious uses for that thing. The moment y'all fall asleep, I'm slapping you a coke. Bow, bow, bow. Wake up. Y'all gonna be fucking zooming. This sounds like a terrible night. Path. Like, what part of this is fun? Oh, it's gonna be only entertainment for me because y'all gonna be. This is like the, this out. is like the plot of The Hangover, except that Tony wants to record it. That's it. Tony is kind of the Zach Galifianakis of this group. He is the Bill Cosby of this group, apparently. Damn. <laughs> That's a fact. Can't rape the willing. And all three of y'all be willing. Just saying. No, rape is a crime, by the way. Don't rape people. I'm just meaning. it was a joke for these three, just to make it clear, people. <laughs> Shh. Going off the rails fast this episode. <laughs> Shouldn't have that coffee. <laughs> But um yeah, so how how's uh everybody how's everybody doing today? How it's Friday. How was your work days for those who did work? I might as well just ask myself that question. Y'all don't really work like me. I'm a boss. Work on and off. Wait, so you're a boss, but you also work a lot. That sounds not Yeah, that's correct. what bosses do. They work twenty four seven. They never bro mm. owners just because not in my experience. You're crazy. Any real owner, any real boss works 24-7. They never are off. They're never. never off. Never. Can't. Awesome. So you guys need to live next, your good life, man. Next topic. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Let, let's, 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 trace, let's trace down this logic a bit. Tony also says that he's the CEO, the boss of this podcast. Doey, how many Facebook engagement posts has Tony put out in the past <laughs> week? <laughs> Zero. 24-7, uh, huh? Listen, <laughs> there's a different level, all right? There's different levels. <laughs> so as a CEO, I have the right to pass on my duties to you guys, which has accordingly been happening because those has been posting. 
You know, that's probably the only factual thing you said. You do definitely treat this <laughs> podcast like you're the CEO. That's why I'm like the only factual thing you've ever Don't said. Don't tell Pucho that he'll get he's getting tired, right? Fuck. He's down to say, yo, Tony, you're editing this next whole fucking week. Fuck you and the CEO bullshit. It's all a joke, people. <laughs> That's just gonna be the, it's just gonna be the raw episode going up on YouTube, no <laughs> cuts, no cut. just all the bullshit before we start recording. Just the entire episode. I'm gonna just send I'm it a, just like that, but like, yo, we're gonna just raw. edit mad fart noises every time Tony's talking. The, show. <laughs> <laughs> the whole time. That's crazy. All you do is talk shit. Damn, this is what I get, man. Everybody hates the boss, man. It's just it is what it is. It's because you guys just work so hard. That's, that's why we hate the boss. Because you guys just work 70. so hard. By the way, um, to all the fans out there, man, real quick. If you got a, 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 a great boss or you hate your boss, comment down low real quick. Let me know. If Even if you're a boss and people hate you, let us know, man. Like, if I'm right or I'm wrong, just tell me. Thumbs up for Tony. Thumbs down for Caballo, whatever you want to do. Let me know. If I get like if I get ten thumbs up, I'm gonna do something amazing to these guys. I'm 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 I'll do something for these guys right here to show my appreciation. If I get some thumbs up, if I get thumbs down, I gotta let one of them go. Just let me Dude, know. I, I'm still waiting on whatever we got cooking up. That that you teased the one episode and the outro. You're like, yo, we're working on some crazy shit. After we hit end record, I was like, yo, what are we working on? What are you talking? About? <laughs> it was a post. <laughs> but um nah so yeah well, how was y'all friday man what's going on what you do start off with you pooch i know you was uh look like you did something today i defeated the first elden lord in elden ring okay oh shit i what don't know how that important that is but it happened i don't know i walked in it said first elden lord and i kicked his ass damn so, awesome how many lords are there i don't know i think there's been like one or two and then it's going to be me. I'm going to be the next Lord. Okay. Ooh. Um, yeah. Still still playing Elden Ring? Still fire. Have you have you encountered Let Me Solo Her yet? No, I'm not there. I'm not. That, that's like, I think um, she's like an optional boss. She's like impossibly hard. Um, that might be the greatest hero in Elden Ring. Is let They're me calling solo him her. the Elden Lord, the uh, the official Elden Lord. There's this player, right? So for people who aren't familiar, in this game, you could summon players to jump into your game, and they can like help you like defeat bosses and shit. There's a there's a guy standing in front of the hardest boss, arguably in the, the entirety of this whole game series, like in all the games they've ever released. This is probably the hardest boss they've ever made, and he's standing in front of where she is. And his name is Let Me Solo Her. So then you'll just summon him and he'll just beat the boss for you. And he's and naked wearing a pot on his head with two swords. Yeah, he's got no armor on pretty much. He's just, he's, yeah. that might, he might be the ty Tyrannosaurus Flex. Like, shout out real. to, you. Shout out to awesome. that, man. That's, yeah, that's dope. Everyone owes Let Me Solo Her a beer. 100%. Damn. He's an overnight sensation over on Reddit. Like maybe like three nights ago, he just blew up. He's like the he's like the Reddit mascot for that sub for the Elden Ring subreddit. There's fan art of Let Me Solo Her that popped up immediately. It's crazy. Someone someone made a statue of the Let Me Solo Her character. I saw it on Reddit like the day before yesterday. <laughs> That's so, badass. That yeah, it's pretty fire. That means a lot of people play that game. If it's on Reddit and everybody's sharing them and stuff, that means he's helped out almost everybody in that Reddit, probably. Or that thread I met. That's fire. What else you do besides play video games? I did yard work. I mean, it's kind of boring. No. That's what I spent my, my off Friday on. Um, me, my wife had the day off, which is uh, unusual. You know, We went to the fanciest restaurant I know of. The Olive Garden. Ooh. Ooh. Nah. <laughs> we went to Olive Garden, but I'm 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 killing about the fancy. I do like you know I what? do I do like me some Olive Garden. Olive Garden is underrated. There are some people who would say, why not just go to an authentic 
Italian restaurant. But I say, enjoy your Olive Garden, my friend. I'll tell you this. Authentic Italian restaurants are incredibly rare. There's a lot of pizzerias that call themselves Italian restaurantes. But then you go in and it's run by not Italian, like, which is fine. It's just, is that authentic? Like, you know what I mean? I don't know. Like, I mean, the food's probably decent enough, but I don't know. I'm not into the whole pizzeria also makes pasta. I'm not Uh, eating like that. I'm not into it either. Yeah. The best pasta I've ever had, though, and I'm going to go to Italy soon. I'm going to eat that pasta, and that's probably going to be the best. But I went, one time I was working in Connecticut, and I went to this bar. It's like a bar and grill type of place called Vazi's. Shout out to Vazi's. Yo, the most incredible car- pasta carbonara I've ever had. The, they had the, this, they were like, oh, would you like some bread with the pasta? I'm like, sure. And they brought out these big ass pieces of bread, like four of them. With nice. a big ass fresh mozzarella, with with mad yeah. like um uh, uh uh like oh god what are those peppers called they're red and they're spicy as fuck that the the Italians like them the cherry peppers I think and I'm like this is five dollars like it was like five bucks for bread I'm like all right cool I didn't expect the cheese the olive oil the peppers none of that shit on point I was just drinking beer and eating pasta it was fire. And That's watching right. basketball like a, with the ball. Sounds like a good fucking time. Yeah, it's literally the best pasta I've ever had. The bar pasta. I ate it at the bar. I was at the bar <laughs> just drinking beers, watching the game. It was Some fire. would say bars don't have the greatest foods, but I'm, I'm glad that you enjoyed your meal. I'm sick of you, though. You're doing all this appraisal to non-authentic things just to just to give yourself cool points because of the shitty Cuban sandwich you think is the best from Twin Peaks. <laughs> that's what you're doing. And I know that's what you're doing. I know. <laughs> I know that's what you're doing. That's just disgusting. People, it's ladies and gentlemen. That that's what he was doing. All right. For the people who don't know, Doey claims that the greatest Cuban sandwich is not made by any Cuban restaurant or even a Cuban for that matter. It's made by the Titty Bar Twin Peaks. Don't disrespect the Twin it's not a Twin titty Peaks bar. is really what, what they're talking about. The Twin Peaks makes the best Cuban sandwich of all time. I would say that the experience that you get at Twin Peaks also raises the taste buds, everything's... Mm, only thing it raises happy. is what's in your pants when those girls walk Shive. by. That's the only thing it raises. I'm, watch, I'm watching Shive TV, my brother. I don't you, know about you, you but went, I'm... You went two times or three times while we were in Florida for like five days. I've eaten that three times so far. That, um, <laughs> that Cuban sandwich. I'm surprised you and don't I, remember, Mateo. He left you at the, at the fucking airport while he went to go eat. A Cuban sandwich. Did he leave me at the airport? Yeah, you don't remember that? He left with whoever picked him up, and you were stranded. Couldn't enter the Airbnb. You were stranded. I, I got think a screen- the irony of the story is different. Tony. I, I did find a <laughs> screenshot on my phone today. I was looking for a, for a screenshot for work that I had taken. And I did find a screenshot of my Uber <laughs> from, my, from my Florida trip. All right. So, listen. Um, <laughs> moving on. Better topics. <laughs> <laughs> Here's one funny story in Twin Peaks. Mm. One of my friends was getting married, and he invited us to go to Twin Peaks. Like, oh, let's just get some beers because it was like near where we were. Mm-hmm. It, it just so happened to be, I, I think it was Fourth of July. Uh, it was uh, Valentine's Day. We went to Twin Peaks, Ooh. and when we get there, it's like packed. I'm like, what the fuck? And once we get in, I, you know, we st- we're like getting greeted. All the women, all the waitresses, they're just all in lingerie. I'm like, what the fuck is going? So apparently on 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 Valentine's Day, they all dress up just in lingerie. So they're like in just panties and bras and like like huh. fishnets and and heels. And I'm like, this is fucking absurd. And it's just funny that we went there by accident. And there was all these pervs in there packed, just hyped to just what? drink a beer. Was that your, was that what about. you was thinking? This is absurd. It's, that's what you was thinking. Is there a male yeah. equi- is there like a female equivalent for uh for these restaurants? 
like a like a dude dudes just going around and like g strings or something just serving food i am gonna create one and i'm gonna call it deuteroonies i would shut that like shit down all so these quick. variation of the roonies on the on the menu tenderoonies goocharoonies titaroonies cockaroonies all sorts of roonies <sighs> Who would order any of those things? What is a Rooney? <laughs> I don't know. Shit is a dumb a Rooney. <laughs> a wacko Rooney. You're, you're going to have to invent an entire new food just to have this restaurant. Nobody. It's like a dick pic. No one likes dick pics. No one's going to like two to Roonies, bro. It's just a, that's just a simple fact. You're not going to make a, a restaurant where there's mad dick just swinging everywhere around people's food. That's, that's, that's disgusting. It is. No one's gonna want that. You have to wear a hairnet around your your undercarriage. Yeah, you gotta wear fucking Mateo's fucking <laughs> ball thong shit that he just bought. Like, that's what you're gonna have to wear. <laughs> but I wear I wear your beanie. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> <Good> assholes. <laughs> well, to all the fans, real quick, if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button, follow, share, like us. If you like our content, you like what we do, you think it's funny, you think we're idiots, whatever the case may be, share it, subscribe, hit the notification bell. We're on IG, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, iTunes, Spotify. We're on all audio platform. We don't push P out here, but we are on all audio platforms. Just like it, man. Share it. Comment. Tell us how whack Dobo is a hat is. You know what I mean? Tell me how much we, you like my beanie. We Fox probably should put out the Discord link, huh? I don't think that we've actually dropped that anywhere yet. No, nah, we need for that to happen. Uh, We're also on Good Discord thing. as well, people. Um, but yeah, man. Going into this first topic, boys. Hold on, hold on. You what did happened? not ask me how I'm doing. I'm doing very well. First of all, I did. Uh, XCOM 2 is free on the Epic Store, okay? It, one of the best tactical squad shooters you've probably ever played. Um, I suggest everyone goes out and try it, tries it. Also, PlayStation Plus members, we got Slay the Spire. Um, also really good deck building game. If you're into Magic the Gathering, if you're into these card based games, these games are a lot of fun to play. Go ahead, Tony. So we're not getting sponsored by them. You don't even gotta once Sony sponsors us, then we'll play out PlayStation Plus coupons no, no. and discounts. Sony's not gonna sponsor us. I'm telling you how I'm doing. Okay, also Slay the Spire. Extremely good deck building this has game. Nothing to do with I'm also playing a game created by one of the people that created Magic the Gathering called Rogue Book. Yet another deck building game. And it's lots of fun. The art on the cards are really cool. Concepts on the levels. It's a very good, fun gameplay experience. If you guys want to have a good time. You can go down to the Rogue Book Hub page on PS5, PS4, and go get that. I I don't know. I don't. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what the hell he's been drinking today. He's been outbursting, and it's it's ruining the vibe. Did you see what Pucho's kind of coffee face? do you think he drank? A coffee Rooney. That's what the fuck he fucking drank. <laughs> that's, what he fucking, that's what he's cold, drinking. Cold brew a Rooney. Oh wow, the one. How up. are you doing, Mateo? I'm just thinking about like being being at uh, Duda Rooney's, being like, "Hey, Chad, I'll take two cough Rooney's, please, Chad." <laughs> hey, thanks, Chad. Wait, did I not ask how you were doing, Mateo? Oh, I'm doing no. fine, man. We we I mean, we've talked less than 24 That's hours. That's what I'm I, saying. I'm skipping all, y'all all niggas. I've, all I've done since then is I got a I got a workout in. I, I got a quick workout in after work today. It was did good. You your, did you <laughs> get your That's little, all I got. Did you get tanned? No, nah, that was a. Uh, Yesterday before the recording, I didn't. Uh, today is not one of my tanning days. My see, tanning days. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna call it from now. <laughs> yeah, Mateo thinks his skin is too fair, so he goes to the tan. For a being Mexican, like, it kind of is fair. He's on it's the. Like, he's. It's like a reverse Michael Jackson. Yeah, you're on your. <laughs> uh, what's that boxer's name? Um, I know his name. I'm an idiot. Not, don't, don't tell. Definitely, don't tell definitely me. not the Sammy Sosa thing. No, oh, bro. Oh no. Oh God, no. <laughs> A Canelo, bro. You want that Canelo vibe? 
He's not as white as him. You crazy? Canelo is super no, white. He's white like my son white. That bright red hair? Doesn't he have red hair? Canelo's Don't disrespect hair, right? my son. He's talking about fucking Canelo. Oh, Canelo, yeah, yeah, he does. I thought you were talking about my son. I'm trying to call no. my son a ginger. I'm not that, I'm not that colorblind. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Color deficient, bro. Or impaired. <laughs> Respect all you colorblind people out there. All right. Let's get into this first topic, since we've been derailed by Doughboy. Ladies and gentlemen, who is messier? Woman or the men when it comes to cleanliness in the house, in the bathroom, in the showers, wherever? Who? Oh, shit. If we're breaking it down by room, that complicates it. Because, like, off rip, guys are messier. I've been in more messy dude apartments than messy women apartments. I, that's that, that's just been my experience. That's been the anecdotal experience that I've heard from others. Like guys tend to be messier, right? But if you're breaking it down by room, <laughs> uh, yeah, that hair just being slammed onto like the walls in the in the 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 bathroom and the in the tub, the shower. Not a fan. Not a fan of that. <laughs> this is disgusting. I wake up and there's the something about just hair running amok that 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 may be like a little bit damp that increases the how gross that is. It's multiplied by ma- many magnitudes of, of of grossness. Like like my my wife's nearby. I could stroke her hair just fine. Don't have a problem. Find her hair in the shower and I'm like cringing away from it. Like I don't want to <laughs> touch that shit. Fuck out of here. Like it's like a fucking roach or some shit. I don't. Hell no. It'd be all curly and shit. Yeah. Although, I mean, if you got a Puppy beard, baby. you get, oh, yeah. You get beard <laughs> all in the sink sometimes. It's the same thing with beards, but ain't nothing like the female's hair on the wall. That shit is disgusting. And then it clogs the drain, and you got to do, like, monthly cleaning of the drain. Like, come on, ladies. Pick that shit up. Throw that shit in the toilet. Do something here. Those hair traps are lifesavers. Those little hair traps you can put over the drain. Yes, lifesavers. Argument savers too. You won't argue about the, about the clogged uh, the clogged uh, shower anymore. Just, it'd be like, oh, the shower's clogged. I don't know why. And I go, oh, let me go try. And I would just pull out a water hair, and I'm like, yeah, you gotta pick this up, you know. And they say, ah. and then you just go through that bullshit another time. It sucks. Or even worse, we had the 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 fucking guard was broken in one of our apartments, and like every couple months, I'd have to snake the fucking drain and pull out like <laughs> wads of hair from the oh, man. disgusting, bro. What could you do? It happens to everyone. I mean, unless if you're living with. Women that have long hair, it happens to almost everyone. Oh, that's like almost every woman in the world. Almost. Yeah. I mean, I had the circumstance that the the fucking the drain cover was just pretty much gone. I just had like a hole in my shower. Yeah. In my apartment. Was Try to step not, on that while mid shower. That would not, I would not like that feeling. Yeah, but I wasn't fucking disco dancing in there, so like it's all the way in the corner and shit. It's not like your drain beep, beep, for the shower is all the way in the corner? It's like on the wall. It's all the way to one side of the shower. Like, why would you be stepping over there? I usually don't get that close to the drain. Like, the, the shower head it sticks out further than the drain. I don't need to get closer to the wall than that, right? Damn, my drain's in the dead center of my shower. So you stand on your drain? No, like, like a like fucking my, barbarian? Like, like, no, my balls are hovering right over it. Like, it's in the dead center of the shower. You're teabagging the drain? Yes, exactly what I'm doing. No. So do you take showers in a deep squat? <laughs> you get that's the, how you get into the ass crack. You know, all that shit fucking. But now nah, the bathrooms, yeah. I think when it comes to the shower and the stuff, the girls are the or women are the messier ones. Um when and it it's com- not just the hair. No, oh, it's everything. It's the just power, shit. the the products. Like some girls do like the brawl thing and I don't I never got that too. Like why the fuck are you hanging up brawls in the shower? Like fuck out of here, yo. There's we got closets. Like what's the purpose of this? Like wait, to dry or just like in general? I don't know. Just in general. I don't know what the I don't know what they were what it is. It's to dry. It's, it's, I, I, I was assuming it was to dry because I know I 
I've heard you're not supposed to run bras through the dryer. I don't know. This shit's ridiculous. At this bras point, are complicated. This shit is like a thing, but then there's like a padding in there. It's like, can you wet that? Like, I don't know. I think the girls I don't, don't need bras. I just need to just not have to wear bras anywhere. Just let them things out, man. Let them float, dangle, hang, whatever. Respect it. Now, when it comes to the kitchen, I would say the women are probably messier than the men. That one, I think, kind of depends. Me, I like to be a clean as I go person. I'm cooking. I'm putting shit away. I'm, I'm, shit's not staying out while I'm cooking. The cheese that I use in step one goes back in the fridge before step two. It doesn't stay on. It doesn't stay on the counter until I'm done cooking or after dinner or anything. Facts. But people, people have got all kinds of different ways, man. Oh, I'm, hold on. First, we got to go back to the shower. Unless you're doughboy for the guys. You're definitely clean. 100% in the shower. That's all I got to say. A little bit of a water mess with Doughboy. Like a bird in a bird bath. You get, you get some dudes with some very stinky bathrooms, though. Like, they have, like, a towel. And that towel they use for, like, weeks at a time. That towel smells uh, like an entire locker room. It's a bowel, for real. You do that, dude? I have, I have some horror stories about places i've gone places i've been tell us um what i seem to notice in the worst instances it's usually a roommate setup and one roommate is way messier than the other roommate um i remember one time stepping into one of my very good friends houses going over to the kitchen he said i was like yo i'm thirsty he's like going over to the kitchen and immediately like as soon as i started to approach the kitchen i was like what's that <laughs> I was like, what's that smell? <laughs> and as i move closer to the refrigerator that is right next to the sink i see something growing on top of the dishes that are on the sink bro i'm like what the fuck it looked like fungus it looked like mold and fungus but like but like at the most extreme level i was like yo this shit is about to mutate and grow arms and kill you niggas if you don't take it out <laughs> you need to just pour bleach on it um and then the bathroom i <sighs> Toilet seats that were unfit for Christian butts, butt cheeks. I made sure all of my stuff got done before I went to the house. I'm like, I'm thinking shit while I'm at home. Piss everything out. The toilet seat was only good to piss in. That is um, wild. Whose house? Why? And then, <laughs> I and then I try to get him. I went I've to, been there. I witnessed it. Our friend was like, oh, you know, my roommate made some beans. <laughs> it's like fucking beans and shit looks like a fucking fallout ghoul or some shit. It, it looked terrible. It was bubbling um, for no reason. To give to give uh, my friend some, you know, uh, they were in a battle because one of the roommates didn't want to clean, and uh, then the, it just left the other one always cleaning up his mess. So he said, "Fuck that and, shit," and he just said, "Fuck it." Um, <laughs> Bro, it got so bad that they stopped buying groceries for the house and stuff like that. It was real crazy. Um, but yeah, I also had another instance where I went over to somebody's house. Um, and they actually lived in a really fucking nice building down in like the financial district. I go up and literally there is a pile of garbage in one of the corners just garbage just empty bottles papers just it looks like they were sweeping shit up into a corner um just just literal fucking garbage bro um so that was the, that it, was the trash corner it disgusted me so much that I immediately started to clean as soon as I got there. I was like, I Damn. can't, I can't do this. Like, I can't even sit anywhere. It's just garbage everywhere. Um, 
and that was um two girls and one guy and i was like this is fucking disgusting i would have just not even clean i would have went straight home they were ashing on the floor nah. they, they were ashing i was like nah what the fuck is going on here <laughs> Dude, I was, these motherfuckers. dude, even back in the day when we had apartments that we had smoke in, we had ashtrays spread all over that apartment so you wouldn't fucking ash on the floor. Like what, that. That's what's what's wrong with y'all? Like if y'all smoke cigarettes, why y'all smoking in the house? That shit is disgusting. Oh, yeah. it is. I I, I agree. <laughs> like even weed. That shit's a fucking perfume from hell. Like, I mean, it is what it is, but god damn, like, why are we smoking in houses? Whatever, it's your house. Do what you want, right? Well, I mean, pe- people disgusting. typically smoke weed inside the house because they live in a state where it's illegal, so they don't want to smoke outside and have someone bust no, them. I mean, either way, like <laughs> weed is better than fucking cigar and cigarettes, but still, it's just like, damn. Could you imagine smoking cigars inside your house? Hell no. <laughs> it could smell better than a cigarette, but... I, I wonder about those cigar clubs, those indoor smoking cigar clubs. I'm like, yo, they got to have like the best filters ever. I've been to one. You'd be surprised how it doesn't not bad. Like they got some type of suction going in where it, the exhaust blows it out because I mean, at first, as soon as you open the door, bam, it's cigar. But then like you're in there for a little bit and just like you're not smoking cigar. It's just you're just maybe your nostrils at that point are fucked, but it's not bad at all. <laughs> Tony said, "You when you walk in, it smells like hell, but after a period of time, you just get used to the smell. It's not a fucking exhaust. But it's like, like no, what you just that, described. Well, no, like, I, because there'll be mad smoke. Like, you're smoking in a, in a closed environment. There'll be mad smoke. It's, you don't see mad smoke, so there's got to be some sort of exhaust or something going out. You know what I mean? The true test would be to go in there immediately. You're the first person in that club in the morning. And you got to just give it a sniff and see if it smells like cigar or not. Yeah. I'll tell you a place. We used to go to this place called Kelly's. And it was a pool hall. <laughs> I remember. My fucking God. That place smelled like a straight up ashtray. Yep. You you could get there at the crack of dawn and you could sniff and it's like you're in the fucking, it's a cigarette. That's it. Is it, they were just smoking pounds of cigarettes in there. It just also smelled really musty and moldy. It just really, like, you went in there and you're like, oh. It's like a distinct smell. Um, it's probably because they hadn't changed their carpets since the 70s or something <laughs> like that. So it just had that really dirty carpet smell. And it's like a bar pool hall, so there's probably, like, tons of beers poured right into that carpet over the years, like. Uh, yeah, that shit is disgusting. Uh, what were we talking? Stale oh, yeah. beer is an but, awful smell. Yeah. Ugh. So you you think it was the two chicks that were sweeping the trash into the corner? Or was um, everybody? Yes. Yeah, oh. it was a combined effort. It seemed like um, it was the grossest thing I'd have I have ever seen. Like I've ever settled myself in. Um, I very quickly i left maybe less than an hour after i got there i tried to help them clean i started sweating Why? and then i was like you know what i'm i'm just i'm gonna be out of here yeah that's i would have just walked in the door and be like damn my dog just died yo i got I, i'm out bro peace left that scene asap she just beast but anyways back to the messy messy woman in lives right all the messy girls i, I wanted like to her. say something so I've heard rumors because, of course, the only time I've walked into a woman's bathroom, I got kicked out of a bar in Orlando, okay? But so I didn't get to really see, get the lay of the land. But when I talk to women, they say that women are fucking disgusting, that the women's bathrooms are just out of fucking control. Disgusting. I, I have heard the same thing. I have also never verified because, you know, I'd get kicked out of the women's bathroom if I tried to go in there. I don't have any reason to go into the women's bathroom. I can vouch but I for the all same of that. Thing. I can vouch for all of that. They are fucking disgusting. It's, it's like they got dicks and they're pissing everywhere. Everywhere. Working at Chuck E. Cheese and going in there to unclog toilets in a women's bathroom? It's fucking kids. No. I went in there one time. 
And so I said, yo, the bathroom's dirty. Can someone clean one of the stalls? I'm like, all right, fuck it. Let's see, some kids did some dumb shit. Open, nothing. Open the next stall, nothing. Open the third stall, and to my eyes, a bloody tampon on the seat, my nigga. Ooh, why are we leaving bloody tampons on the seat? Do you it's, flush tampons? Yeah, you can flush them. I feel like you're not supposed to flush, right? You're not supposed right? to? No. Not supposed to? No, you're supposed to wrap it and just toss it in the bin. Yeah, I think it's like those wipes that Doey likes. You're technically not supposed to flush those things either. So you can't like, flush even, tampons? I don't think you're supposed to. I don't know. Ladies, if you're watching this, let us know. Can you flush tampons? We need to know. Hey, hey you got four dudes who have never used a tampon before. Facts. Maybe dough. Maybe dough. Dude. But we don't know don't, anything about flushing, all right? Let us know. This I want to know, because I would say no. I it just looks know. too absorbent. It'll get too big. I don't I don't think it should Have be you seen there. the videos of the guys, like, first time, they got, like, a water bottle, and the girl tells them, all right, shove this, shove this thing down here, pull it, and they're all like, damn, it's so hard to pull. And I'm just like, well, yeah, because it's hard plastic. Like, if it was a vagina, I don't think it would be that hard to pull out. You know what I mean? Like... I don't know. Ladies, please comment. Let us know. Like, can you flush it? Is it hard to pull out? And if you <laughs> don't, don't think flush, we need to know that one. <laughs> if you don't flush it, how many times you wrap it with toilet paper? Because that's key, too. Are you wasting it? What's the amount of waste of toilet paper are you doing? But, yeah, that's crazy, bro. Disgusting. You're doing one-tenth of a doughy wipe. That's a lot. It's about that's half a, a roll. <laughs> the way he uses, yeah. For all y'all don't know, he does a full light here. rolls of toilet paper. <laughs> he squashes them so they get kind of conic in shape. How, and he how just would, scrubs it right through his ass. How would you even wipe with a half a roll of toilet paper? You would look like you're wearing a boxing glove. <laughs> Shit is disgusting, bro. Well, that's how he wipes. He punches himself right in the ass. So he's doing anal fist things, dude. You need protection. This is fucking disgusting, bro. <laughs> but what about um? So what about cars, car space, right? In vehicles, I feel like the ladies definitely take the cake on being dirty in that too. It depends on the kind of dirt or the kind of dirty. Women tend to, like, a lot of women I've met tend to have like an entire wardrobe of clothes in their car. And I don't know what the, I don't know I don't know what the purpose of it is, but there's an entire wardrobe in their car. They're they're ready to quick change for any event. Maybe that's the purpose of it. Could be. That I have noticed. I was like, what's all this stuff in your car? Like you got shoes in here, you got you got a whole outfit ready to go. I remember one time with a chick we're going to a long time ago. We went to a club. She picked me up or whatever. We're going to go meet up with all the other people and shit. And she's like, yo, can you reach in the back and get my coat? I'm like, I bet. So I reach in the back. I got a shirt. I'm like, all right, no. Reach in the back. Got a pair of jeans. No, this is a dead ass true story. Reach in the back. Literally grab panties. I, I turned her. I was like, yo, please tell me these are clean. She's like, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Finally grabbed her coat. As I lift her coat, nothing but makeup just falls out and lands on the seat. I'm like, yo, what the fuck is going on here? Why you got so much clothes and makeup? Like, are you you live in this this motherfucker? Like, she's like, no, I just have all that there just in case. So you just have just in case panties just sitting here because, like, what the fuck? Like, how does that make sense? Like, why? How do you pick people up and you got all this in the back seat? I got I got a pretty funny story that that made me think about. Mm. Tell my me. cousin Tutu, one time, he had has a very nice Tahoe, and he used to have everything inside of it ready to go, um, and he would offer you gum, he would offer you all sorts of shit. One night, we are with some girls, they get in, he asked them if they need tampons, <laughs> he has tampons ready for he says, yo, if y'all need tampons, I got tampons in the back. Just let me know. I got anything in here. I got water. <laughs> I got bubble gum. Yo, shout He's out like, to I... Tutu, yo. That's full service right there. That's like the best even... <laughs> That's like the best Uber driver ever right there. 
He's got like the bodega car. Like he's got all the things. That's crazy. He's got There's, a bodega whip, yo. That's he's fire. Like... There's a cat wandering around in the back seat. <laughs> so I, I'll say about cars. Women have messy cars. Like there's like you like a pair or two of shoes, a few jackets. And then there's like the shit. There's just be napkins, like napkin wads. I'm not a fan of the napkin wad. Like napkin they, they, wads. I don't know. They, I don't know. But men, dude, some we're pretty clean guys, so you know, we don't have these problems. But I've been in dudes' cars where you can't even put your foot down without stepping on trash. Like yeah. it's like a Wendy's bag and oh, it's then the passenger, this and right? That. The front seat passenger passenger seat, right? It'd yes. be all over. It'd be the whole fucking whip. It'd be disgusting. I've seen that. Yeah, I've been in a friend's car where there's a plate of food on the floor, <laughs> like with the fork and everything, like half feet. And I'm like, what the fuck is happening here? <laughs> that's awful. Bro, that's so, wild. Yeah. Like with know. guys' cars, the outside'd be dirty most of the time, but the inside's pretty clean. Like, like for example, like my work truck, I got a crib, a little car seat in the back seat, but everything else, I got like my basketball shoes and my cleats on the floorboard in the back and uh, a foldable chair. That's it. That's pretty much what I got. But I got sometimes water bottles on the floor of the seat because I'm drinking water bottles and I just chuck it on the floor of the seat. And when I get home, I throw it out. Like Pujo says, some people just leave it there, but. Nine times out of ten, if I get in a girl's car, that's way more mess, way more messier than a guy's car. It's you know just, the you one. Know? You know the one that ends up in my passenger like floorboard, my junk mail because I only ever check my mail when I'm on my way out somewhere. So that junk mail gets tossed in the passenger seat, then it ends up on the floor, and then it, it takes me two days or so before I finally toss that shit in the trash. But it's just a bunch of junk mailers, just all that bullshit you get. Like you've been pre-approved for this credit card. I don't want people to tell me to save paper and do all this bullshit. Tell them to stop sending us those mailers. You can actually just uh, go to that site and hit e, um, email or some not email, but it's like a, a word that they'll just send you um, electronical fucking mail. No, I'm talking Tony. about the junk you can mailers. Just- yeah, Junk like, mailers. Like the one from like Capital One, which is not a bank I've ever used in my life. Why are they mailing me? Don't need it. Dude, they got a they got a credit card specially made for you. Twenty two percent APR. Okay. Ooh. It's the best deal you're gonna get in town. I don't think that we've ever recorded an episode without some si- some like flashing lights in the background of Doe's camera. <laughs> Where's our religious guy? Is he gonna come by tonight? He should be in a few hours passing by. He passes <laughs> by at around eleven thirty. I do think that that meme, the, uh, the 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 damn you live like this meme, where it's like the dude that has like the mattress on the floor and a television and like just the, like a PS five or something, and that's all that's in his apartment. I do think that one's probably more accurate than it's not accurate. Yes. Yeah, my Absolutely. my bedroom in high school was like that. I had a mattress on the floor, my TV, and my console. Like, you know what could be messier for guys? The microwave, because we use the fuck out of the microwave. And some of the women they can't reach it, depending on where it's at. So I would say maybe that <laughs> might be like the what happened? <laughs> they can't reach it. <laughs> oh, I've never heard of this. My bad. Yeah, y'all short as fuck too. My bad. I'm thinking y'all like normal size. So like. <laughs> If you guys don't have, you guys got like booster booster seats or something, or like you guys got stepping stools to reach our microwave on the top. I've got one of those sliding ladders like they have in like the old timey libraries. That's fire! Fuck out of here! <laughs> <laughs> no, in all honesty, take a picture of this place. I've never seen a microwave that a person couldn't reach, like a like a like a full grown adult. Damn! All right, I'll take a picture of my kitchen and send it to you. I've got the some women in your house can't use the microwave in your house. Her mother can't reach the microwave apparently to uh, <laughs> clean it or anything like that. <laughs> I do. I've got some cabinets in my kitchen 
that you that you have that to be six use? foot five. You have to be six <laughs> foot five plus to reach these cabinets. They're up there. Up Even there. I said, I'm like, damn, bro, what do you put up there? Like not a damn thing. <laughs> Like it doesn't matter who you are, you're climbing on the counter or getting something to boost yourself up to use them. They're fucking tall, dude. That's hilarious. But let's be for real. How come Spanish mothers are so clean though? The fregal. How about how about not ever? Uh, no, let's. Uh, I I remember I was forced to clean a lot mm-hmm. as a child. It was uh it was hard labor. I've got to put um, put my back into it. A lot of. I only know Spanish music by the music my mom used to play when she used to make us clean, and I don't know <laughs> anything else. So anytime I ever hear those when I'm out in the street or I'm getting my hair cut, I'm like, oh yeah, I remember getting my ass beat to this song because <laughs> I didn't, didn't wake up. You, you start subconsciously cleaning a window or something. Yeah, <laughs> but it's funny too because it's like. I used to do the laundry, the dishes, and mop the house while my fucking sister just fucking gets to play princess all fucking day. Then she got to the age, and I'm like, yo, I'm not doing dishes no more. She can do the dishes. And then you know what she did? Little fucking smart ass. Did them terribly. And left soap on it. And then when niggas went to go eat food and drink out of cups, mad soap. They could tell you, you got to do it because your sister can't do it. I'm like, wow, bro. Yeah, nah, that wouldn't have flown with me. You're going to learn how to wash these dishes, bro. My, my family had a dishwasher that they that we never were allowed to use for it anything. It was just for drying storage. dishes. It was just for like a rack to put things on and then load them up in later on. The, you never ran it. it. That thing never ran the entire my entire childhood. For my, mom. my house. Yeah, my mom. I, I try to convince my wife, like, let's use the fucking dishwasher. But no, nah, it's, it's for the most part a drying rack. In the last few years, we use it sometimes, but still, it's really just like we wash dishes and we put it inside the dishwasher to dry. That might give it a <laughs> bajo, though, right? Like letting it sit in there to dry, you think? Have you ever had a bajo when you came to my house? No, I'm not I'm not saying you in general. I'm, I'm saying, asking you. I don't remember doing your dishes or no. I didn't smell no bajo. Fantastic smells. I'm, right. I'm saying, but so the no. dishes itself, like... Like you know how when you get a, a cup and you dry, and you do like I'm asking a, you if you ever grabbed the cup in my house and was there a bajo. That's oh, what I'm asking. It's been shot right. glasses. So no, so then you, you don't have you words. Only, you only do shots at Pucho's house. Bro, when you go to <laughs> Pucho's house, it's a party. It's not a fucking. You're not Give me there. A shot of chocolate milk. That nigga Pucho is giving you. That nigga is giving you a water bottle, plastic water bottle, room temp, with a shot glass. Said chug, bitch. Like that's pretty much what we do. But his lovely wife does hook us up with plates and food. And yes, I'd never smelled a bajo. I'm asking you, could that potentially give you a bajo? I like mean, if cup. you let water sit at the bottom of your uh, dishwasher, yes. It's yeah, going it to start to smell Doesn't bad. that just naturally drain out, though? It should naturally drain out, but you have to hit the drain button usually. And it, if yeah. you have, if you see a puddle of water, drain you have to hit the drain button. If yes. you see a puddle of water, you're too far gone. Yeah, so oh, it's too late. Fucked up. So it's already fucked. Yeah. It's too late. Yeah, I've never really used a dishwasher like that. I mean, we got one in the house that they love to use. I've always been raised wash that shit, dry that shit, like put it in a drying rack. Like I started being so good with it that I played Jenga with the fucking drying rack. I'll fucking just start stacking shit up. So when you pull something wrong, it just all trickles. Emily that fucking hates that me. shit. She Sabotage, hates that You dry dude. your dishes. No, I, like I put them in a drying rack. I'm out there with a yeah. fucking towel drying that shit. That's some fucking yeah, people do that. It's wild. the best way to do it, honestly. Like, but no, who has time for that? They say it's unsanitary though. Or do they that really? The drying rags could get bacteria, and you're just rubbing that on every single dish. Um, mm. Yeah, I, I do. I do have a lot of kitchen towels though. So like, by they, the, they're, they're constantly being cycled. By the way, for all the people that use dishwashers. You have to do a pre-fucking wash. Don't fucking load your dishwasher up with mad shit on it, my nigga. You have to at least lightly. You have to lightly light rinse scrub or everything. something. Yeah. Don't fucking just start stuffing shit in there because that ain't cleaning shit. Get, get that big, hot. Get that that hot ass water and hit it with your sprayer. Like get some shit. Get the shit dude, off of there. <laughs> like there's 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 dish etiquette here, people. This is a sink etiquette. You throw out excessive fucking trash into the garbage can. You rinse. And pre-wash type whatever shit, 
throw it in the dishwasher if you got it. Run that bitch. And then when it's dry, then you put the shit away. Let's not be disgusting here. What one last cleaning thing that I think like a good percentage of people, whether you're male, female, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Where wherever you are, everyone is guilty of this one. And this is something we all need to be better at. Put your damn laundry away after you finish your laundry. After your, your laundry comes out of the dryer, put it away immediately. Stop letting it sit in bags. I'm guilty of this. My laundry sometimes sits for like three days at a time before I put it into the closet. You know what happens then? You got wrinkly shirts. Wrinkly shirts, all your shit's wrinkled. You got to basically yeah, wash it again. So- I used to go to yeah. this person's house and they'll just have laundry on the couch. Fresh laundry. I'll sit on the couch and just lay on their laundry. She smells fantastic. I just I just sit next to them. The laundry be right here, and I go like this. I'll fucking I like grab like whatever's there, make a little mountain from my elbow to rest on, and I'll just be sitting there. The shit smells great. I probably just dirty the fuck out of your clean clothes. It, it but did I'm smell chilling. great. Yo, I'm just chilling. Yo, I I'm actually astonished that somebody would actually let you just sit on all their clean clothes. Like it's on sounds... the it's on the seat next to me. I'm sitting down and I'm just leaning on it. But if it's there, it's there. But whatever. Um, real quick, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to our YouTube. If you like our content, hit the like, follow, share. We're on all platforms here. We're not pushing P out here. We already know what P is. P is for Pandora. We don't push it. Last time I'm saying it. Got another topic, boys. If you had a own an, an animal what would be the most dangerous pet that you're willing to own and take care of in your house which one would it be I, I think I can guess Poochel's but I'm not positive but I think Poochel's going to be tricky on his answer to this question and I think I know what his answer is going to be what, 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 what? tell me I think he's going to say a dog because he was saying on the last episode how dangerous big dogs are. So I think that might be Pucho's answer. A big dog would be the most dangerous animal he would own. That's I've, got a, fucking... I've got a daughter. I've got a wife. I don't need any <laughs> dangerous animals in my house. That's a fact. I'm fucking, <laughs> first off, I'm done with animals. Pretty soon I won't own shit in my house. But You're going to be of one now, of those Spanish one of those Spanish dads that are just like, don't you bring that that animal into this house. You know, my opinion on this changed as soon as I had a kid. Maybe it's just I became the Hispanic dad. We all but, know, though, once they bring the animal in the house, it just starts to grow on you. Then for some reason, it's only attracted to you because you're giving it all this energy, <laughs> bad energy, <laughs> and it's over. You Now you're a pet owner again. Yeah, That's how it I happens, pray, dude. Pray to every god. <laughs> Jesus, Allah, <laughs> Buddha, all the fucking... I don't want that shit in my life. Don't bring that shit to me. That's fucking funny, bro. Dogs are fucking scary, bro. I don't... Yeah. Yo, imagine them big-ass, like, Doberman Pinchers, like, chilling with toddler. I'm like, yo, all it takes is one little twitch for this dog to bite this baby's face off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's terrible. So what would it be, though? Is it a big dog for you? It'd be a medium-sized dog is my limit. <laughs> that's the most dog. dangerous that's animal? That's not fun. Come on. Be a little more fun we'll with give, it. We'll give him some time. Let him think about it. What about you, Doe? I, I'd want an elephant. What Holy the shit. Fuck? Yeah, what I'd type of fucking elephant. house are you living in, nigga? What the fuck? <laughs> An elephant to New York City apartment. I'd want an elephant. Elephants are so fucking cool. I'd want to ride it around and just be all of my my elephant shit. And then and then they can really say you could talk about the elephant in the room. And it's be me and my elephant. (laughs) Then he wants to pull up like Prince Ali. Prince Ali, la 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 la. Well, damn, that was a good move. Man. Okay, Classic. so so other than that, a large cat. I don't know where in that cat range I would sit, but like a big cat, one of those larger than an actual cat, like Are a Siberian like a tiger. On, yeah, like a tiger, a lion, a panther. How big a cat think, are we talking? I think personally, that's way too scary. I think something that I can um, a bobcat. Yeah, something that I can control that still has some sort of, you know, if 
I can, if I need to choke it out, I can, you know, choke it you out. You are not choking I, out a bobcat, man. It'll shred you to pieces. I, I mean, it will did, claw you. I mean, did you see that dude? Do you remember that video from like last year, right? That bobcat yeah, was, ran up on that woman, started attacking it. The guy threw it across the lawn. Yep. That's what you want a this, bobcat. So I think like a large cat, maybe. Yeah. And a baby elephant. I, I do like the elephant because, yeah, the baby elephant. They look like you could wrestle around with them, like yeah. you could play with them, and that would be fun. Even like a baby bear, that would be fun to like wrestle yeah. around with. But at some point, they will kill you. Yeah, yeah. The baby elephant know, will Tony? kill you. Them shits no, weigh like 600 them. pounds as a baby. Let that bitch land on you. You're no. not moving it. They're not 600 pounds as a baby. Google it. 500 like pounds three- minimum. They're like 300 pounds. Lies. For an anorexic elephant, maybe. They're average 500 pounds when they're born. But go ahead, uh, Mate. Hit me with yours what? real quick. Oh, you, oh, go ahead. You got more, though? What, what you got to do? <laughs> um, no, no. I think uh, I, if if we're talking about a dog, man, I Sorry. want the... So they oh. weigh from about 190 pounds to 260 pounds. What this awesome. newborn elephant? Yeah. Yeah. That's still very heavy. Two six. No, it's Ooh. big, but I mean, I'm a big dude. I could roll around with this guy for a while. Yeah. Nah, I've seen that shit. Five hundred. I don't know what type of baby ass elephants you. Tony rolled about. around with me. Shit was terrible. I was in my sleep. He rolled on top of me and shit. Like you bigger than a baby <laughs> elephant. Nigga, how about <laughs> both of our elephant ass rolling on top of your wife like a fucking sandwich? She, I'm surprised she's still alive. Yeah, Poor that happened too. That was terrible. Shout out to oh her. Oh my yo. god. Y'all squished her? <laughs> yeah, we was all sleeping. There was like a, air, a whole bunch of people, and we all yeah. got on the air mattress. Worst idea ever. First time Pucho actually agreed <laughs> to me him being on the same air mattress, and then Lisi pulled it in the middle. I don't Ellen, think it was an air mattress. It was an I air mattress. I think I had a physical mattress on the floor because we were getting really? rid of it. Oh, I think yeah, you guys came yeah, up a yeah, weekend where was. I bought a bed. And we threw the mattress in the living room, and Facts. that shit was mad comfortable. That shit was fun. It and was. we were watching Star Wars, and then me and Tony fell asleep. We had the mattress long ways, and we were laying across it, like yep. short ways. And and so multiple people were laid out on this mattress while we were watching, like, movies and shit in the living room. And we fell asleep, and then we both, like, Rolled. shimmied over, and we just squashed my poor wife. She, My girlfriend at the time. she was fucking scared. I can tell you that much. She woke up real yeah. quick and pushed us. Damn, I felt yeah, bad. two fucking rikishis trying to butt bomb me. That shit was intense. <laughs> she was like, "Yo, what the fuck?" <laughs> Shout out to Lisa, yo. Give me your animal, there, Mateo. I think mine would be some kind of snake, some kind of constrictor, oh, fuck some kind of with big ass snake. Um. I was thinking of like maybe like some kind of spider, right? Like a tarantula or something like that. I guess they're not really dangerous, right? But they'll, they'll still hurt if they bite you. But imagine if that thing got out of the cage. You a would spider? just have to burn your you just have to burn your entire house down. You just have to move out. You're you're like I don't live here anymore. That's his house. Poison yeah, snakes. getting out of the cage. What if that thing lays an egg? Oh my god! Like, do you think do you think that the 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 seal? On, on wherever, con- whatever fucking container you got the spider in, you think it's good enough that a baby spider won't get out of there? No. That's you, it. You have to burn the house down. You're going to yeah. have tarantulas all over the place. I've seen arachnophobia. I know how it goes, dude. Or you get lizards that eat the spider. And then you get the snake to eat the lizards. And then you have to get a mongoose to eat the snake. It's a never-ending story, though, dude. You just got to keep going up and up. Eventually, the elephant's running through your house, just destroying everything. You're fucked. You know, you know what else I think I'd get? Hmm. An opossum. Opossum? Yeah. Like to play dead? An, op- an opossum. Yeah, like a, to as a pet. They are supposed to be really good for the environment. They They eat ticks. Like, that's the main thing they do. They eat ticks. And they eat a crazy amount of ticks. So they're actually really helpful animals to have around. But I did have one run up on me once when I was walking home from a bar and it hissed at me. And it was one of the most frightening things I've ever, because I wasn't prepared for it. It was just out of nowhere, just this monster thing with glowing eyes hissing at me. I was <laughs> not prepared. I would have kicked that shit like a field goal. Let that bitch come at me. Man, I, I, thought about, one time, I thought about it, but then I recognized it was an animal. And I was like, I don't want to kick this small ass animal. <laughs> <laughs> One time we were walking home in sixth grade, and we were we were walking, hitting some cuts, 
and we saw this trash can like move a little bit. We were like, what the fuck? So we went over to the trash can and we cracked the lid open. So, all right, this is in Florida and we don't know. I don't know this shit. I'm a. I ain't, I ain't I'm, yeah, I'm not a Florida guy, so it's just this is all brand new to me. We crack the lid open, and then we see a fucking possum. There's a, a very ugly creature, by the way. Yeah, shit looks disgusting. They're scary, and it I just see- looked dead. And I was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> and then she said, <laughs> "And we just." <laughs> <laughs> There was Terrible. one on the subway that I saw re- recently on um, it's an Instagram page called Subway Creatures and it's like everything you'll see on the subway just a whole bunch of variety of stuff and there was this uh, a possum on there with a sweater on he had a little sweater it was mad cute what the fuck who put a sweater on a possum yeah it was a lady two ladies sitting together and she was petting her possum it was winter Tony that possum was cold it needed yeah. the sweater it needed the sweater My- I feel like any animal can be turned into a pet even as much as you know my i, I one of my family members had crocodiles back in the day <laughs> alligators I, dude, alligators or something yeah dude my gut instinct was to say a gator but gators get fucking huge and at a certain point you can't have a gator as a pet anymore it's just, put it? yeah. it's just not feasible you want a fucking boa <laughs> like that shit gets fucking huge that shit would literally swallow you at some point I didn't say a boa constrictor. I said some kind of constrictor. Okay. There, so there's, there's others in that family that aren't like 30 feet long, you know? I wouldn't want any snake. That shit wraps around your neck while you mid-sleep. You're done. Mm-hmm. My uncle used to have a boa constrictor. And and when we used to behave bad, it used to be in a room. And we used to put us in the room with the boa constrictor. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. That's he put terrible. us in there. He's like, "Oh, you gonna act up? You gonna act up?" That's so. Yo, the snake was on the loose. In Ten there? sec, dude. It was a big ass snake. It was a big but ass. Just, snake. It was on Wait, the loose was, in the room. Yeah, it was not. You could not contain it inside of a, well, a tank. So it had a was, room. Yeah, I was gonna say that's not your uncle's room anymore. That's the snake's room. What's yeah, wrong with was, your <laughs> uncle, dog? That's fucking it was terrible. Just, <laughs> it was like teasing us. He wasn't gonna <laughs> really do it, and then it just turned into uh, the how long can we stay in the room with the boa constrictor challenge as a child? And, Let me out! <laughs> <laughs> Did, they did hold it, the door. <laughs> did it try to like go towards you, or did it just mind no. its own business doing it its own thing? Right, it just minded its own business. Yeah. <laughs> nah, fuck that. Oh, I remember when I was a little boy hanging out playing in Kings Park. This ripped, talking ripped black bald man walked up, walking through the park. This is an everyday thing in New York City. Walking, and he's got this massive snake on his shoulder. He's just walking through the park, and then all the kids are like, "Yeah." And then he's letting people like touch the snake and blah blah, blah. and the shit just started choking this little girl out. The <laughs> shit, he some chick was like, "Oh, can I hold it?" And he put it on her shoulders, and that shit said "rap" and just started. No. She was like, "Oh shit!" Oh, and the man, <laughs> she, I was like, "Uh, uh-uh, I ain't fucking with this snake." Dumbass so yeah, kids. I ain't owning no snakes. Y'all crazy. Nah, the, fuck that. If you had the space, some kind of shark would be a cool thing to have in like a saltwater tank. If you had a tank big enough for some kind, not like a full on like seven foot shark or anything crazy like that, but would the sharks get a little bit smaller? Like a if bull you shark? A, if you had the craziest saltwater tank in the world in your house, could be a cool pet. That is something that I am very impressed by when people, my cousin has an extraordinary, like a big tank and he has so many fish in there. It's awesome. Now, now here is my problem with that as an answer, though. Are fish pets? I don't think fish qualify as pets. They do. It's anything you got to take, take care, care of. of. You got to yeah. take care of them. You got to make sure the water is right. You got to take care of a plant. Is a plant a pet? It's living. Ch- 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 chia. <laughs> the the <laughs> plants kind of take care of you. You know, it gives you oxygen. It's yeah. true. Better breathing air. That might got be a agent, partner. Got Agent Scully downstairs right now. She was getting some, what is some sunlight today. the <sighs> wildest thing you think you try to domesticate? I would try to do like a... Well, hold on. Let me give my fucking answer to what I wa- fucking actually want. 
All right. But that is but that is a good side topic. Tony, I go did. first though. Um everybody I want just a motherfucking just ostrich. That is a very dangerous animal. That's dangerous. I wanted a tiger, yeah. but he took my tiger one. Put a fucking ostrich. I would domesticate the fuck out that shit and ride that shit around the neighborhood. You ain't fucking right. with me with an ostrich. There is a farm here that I ran into north of Austin in this little tiny town north of Austin where they do have an amount of ostriches on this farm. And they just they just run around in this little like penned in area that they have. A fucking ostrich, bro. You see an ostrich coming down the block with a dude on it? You're going to be like, what the fuck? Some straight fucking Ace Ventura shit. A fucking ostrich, bro. That's what I'm going to have. They're fast, too. Oh, yeah. They are fast. They're, like, similar to, like, velociraptors. They're, like, velociraptors of our time. They got that long-ass toenail. And motherfuckers just, like, looking at you. Like, bitch, test me. Like, I'll fucking pick your face and I'll cut Tony. Tony's going to make some badass omelets, though. You you didn't even let me get into my bag. That was That's the next <laughs> bag right there. Laying them eggs. Go ahead. Play that shit. <laughs> Cook that shit up, Quay. I'm fucking I'm making know. omelets. I've always wanted a dinosaur omelet. Okay, watching the Flintstones. Oh, yo. Watching them crack <laughs> that them shit big-ass look- fucking eggs and whip that shit up. I was like, yo, that's fire. That's a big-ass not one egg. I used I wanted, to want that as a kid. I wanted that big rack of ribs that was so heavy oh. that it knocked the Flintstones car over. Yes. That's a fact. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. So... I would I would domesticate Dino. I would have Dino as a <laughs> Dino. <laughs> he looked like that, he didn't have sharp teeth. It was purple. That's cool. Did you know that Dino used to talk in some of the early Flintstones episodes? The cartoon versions, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Dino used to talk. They did something messed up to Dino. They got his like vocal cords ripped out or something. He stopped talking towards the end of that cartoon. It's a conspiracy guy. there to look into. <laughs> So, side topic, though. That was a good one that you brought up. Um, Yeah, I don't know. Do you have one in mind? I would say, from my first one, a bald eagle. That's illegal wow. as fuck, but yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, and just be, like, you. chilling and send it out. You know, how big, you know how big that motherfucker is, bro? It's big. Bro, that yeah, shit birds is are scary, dude. Yeah, birds are super scary. The the most fear I think I've ever felt in my life, besides dealing with the police, is a bird. A bird <laughs> tried to attack me, yo. And that shit was horrifying. I don't know why that... Like, it just scared me to a degree that I've never, like, really you felt. Have, are we talking ever, a big bird or are we talking, like, a grackle or something? It was, it was, a, little, it was a little bird, yo. But it was some, it was just some, it felt weird, man. <laughs> like it was, it was like I was in nature, bro. Like this shit didn't feel right. Like I was walking my dog and I just had like a sixth sense. Like something's trying to kill me. And I turned and all I saw, this thing was flying at me. I was like, oh shit. What the fuck? Like an owl? Nah, it was a bird. I don't know, like a fucking, like it wasn't like an eagle, but it was not tiny. There is a video out there of a little kid on a scooter running away from a bird, and the bird keeps swooping down. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I see that. Yeah. That's what the bird was doing to me. It kept swooping in for strikes. And then for, like, weeks, I would be walking my dog, and I was mad paranoid, like, looking around. And then sometimes, whew, I'd get that feeling again, I swear to God. And I'd look, and the bird was mid-flight trying to attack me. I ended up doing some reading about this. And apparently, very early primates, their biggest, um, the biggest predators they had to deal with were these birds that would just, like, jab holes into their brains and just kill them and then eat them. It was fucking disgusting. Damn. But it made me think. I was like, damn, is this fear, like in me like through evolution like is this ingrained in my soul (laughs) (laughs) because way way back like you know through evolution like you know maybe we had this big fear of birds or something it was a very it's it didn't feel good that's a a prehistoric fear fear right there that's like the most (laughs) like primitive part of your brain like latching onto its genetic roots or something (laughs) what about yo it was uncomfortably scary what about a kangaroo bro 
Those things are jacked, dude. Those things will mess you up. But I can see Pucho <laughs> doing boxing training with a kangaroo in his house. Dude. Jab, jab, left, left, right, Those right. Those are strong. Yeah, It'll just, kick my ass. And I think kangaroos have claws on their feet, too. They could yeah. s- destroy How- you. How do kangaroos get so jacked? Are they are they doing like jumping jacks and push ups and like lifting up like branches over their head and lifting and whatnot? <laughs> well, they do kind of like crawl walk around, like like when they're like slow, they just they use their upper body a lot with their fucking legs. But yeah, they're probably jacked up, bro. Fucking doing steroids and shit, dude. They're frog hopping everywhere. Like that shit. Do that. How many times could you hop like that? Damn, we need to get Doey on the skipping workout plan. Let's let's have him just skip everywhere for a month and let's see what happens. He might get jacked. He might, but doubt it. If also, I but, were yeah. to domesticate any animal, I don't think I would, but I don't know if this counts as domestication, but I've always wanted to make friends with a bunch of grackles or a bunch of crows. Like I've heard that those that you can make friends with like these flocks of birds. You give them like food and like you keep doing this over a period of time. They'll become like friends of yours and they'll leave you little presents. Like they'll bring you like little shiny things. Birds like shiny things. So they'll leave you like little presents and things. I read a story one time about a lady that they were like they made friends with these birds. Like their daughter had made friends with the birds accidentally because like they would eat outside. She would end up dropping food. The birds would come and eat the food. It was this whole thing that would happen at their house. And they went. uh, She was a photographer. And like they, she went on this uh, trip like 20 miles away or something to like go and take pictures. And she dropped one of her lenses. And then she was and it like fell down somewhere. She couldn't get it. So she went back home like three days later or something. The birds dropped that lens off to her. Those birds were, were running protection for her. And they saw that she dropped something shiny and they brought it back to her. How yeah. cool would that be? <laughs> Crows are That's- smart. Mm-hmm. That's pretty they're, incredible. They're one of the few animals that can use tools. Not even that, bro. Crows are fucking huge. An, a real fucking crow, black crow, bro. Fucking huge. The motherfuckers are huge, bro. A fucking ever friend of the pod, my boy. That motherfucker said he would want a crow and train it on command to attack motherfuckers. <laughs> like, this is the shit that this man said, bro. And I'm I'm not gonna lie, a crow be a dope ass domestic something to domesticate, bro. Like. That shit is scary how big they are. And they're Some black Game as fuck. So he gonna, yeah, he's on that. He's yeah. on his maester shit? <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, that shit, crazy shit. But um, yeah, crows are fire, though. That would be a dope ass little bird to have. Well, not little, but bird to have. I mean, honorary comment bear. I think all those bear videos where people are chilling with their bears are really cool. And then you see the video where the bear turns on people and then you're like, God, this is not cool anymore. I don't want to do this. You know what? I wouldn't want to domesticate a fucking ape or a silverback gorilla. I'm surprised nobody has said gorilla or monkey. I was not even slightly surprised. I was going to I was going to shit all over it. If anyone was like my dangerous animal would be a monkey or a grip. Those things were those things will destroy you. They're too smart to have. As a, there's not a lot of animals that should be pets in general, right? Like I don't think that like the idea of having dangerous pets is an actual good idea. But a monkey or a gorilla would definitely be way too intense as a dangerous pet if you were that kind of person. They watch it every day and learn. Imagine you teach it sign language or whatever Coco knew, and then the motherfucker's like looking at you one day and. <laughs> Starts telling you like I looked through your search history. <laughs> you're, you're gonna you're gonna get at that glove the like uh, like Amy had. Yeah, uh, y'all remember wild. y'all remember Congo? That's what I was talking about. That's the gloves. I think it was Amy was the monk was the gorilla's yeah. name. <laughs> yo, yo, Amy con- scared. <laughs> this shit is. So- <laughs> I hated all those monkey movies. <laughs> you hated them all. <laughs> What was the other one with the orangutan and the, bo- and the Planet boy? of the Apes? Oh no, no. Uh, um, Jungle Book. No, it's no, a no, live no, no, action no. movie. It's like oh. a Disney original. I hated that shit. Tarzan. No, Is it the no, one no, where the, the the orangutan was like in the truck or something? Like he was like a yeah, truck they, driver. He was like, like, yeah, he was living life. He might have had clothes. Damn. It was crazy. I hated that movie. What about bats? Be a terrible pet. Shit everywhere, right? Like they'll just be sitting up top above you, watching you. you just you have wanna, guano. You want to know the you're worst? Not, you're not gonna have the space for that bat to fly around. Bats are bats. Are bad, a bad pet. Neither would I've a crow. Wondered what guano tasted like. Is that real that people eat 
batshit? I don't know. That's what Ace Ventura told us, right? Right? <laughs> I wonder. Disgusting. What were you saying, Doey? <laughs> I lost it, but <laughs> I um, I don't know. Yeah, I lost it. I'm sorry. Damn. You trying to bring it back. Should have let me go. That, that That's our bed. Yeah. Okay. It so, is to- your bad. Tony's beanie is distracting me, dude. It's, it's throwing off the entire vibe of this recording. Yep. Really? Fuck it, then. Y'all niggas is crabby. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> damn, bro. Now, nah, look. Now, nah, my you shit's all, all kinds fun. of God, difficulties damn. going on up there. <laughs> okay, Tony's back. All right, happy. That's what y'all want. Y'all want me to look like oh, fix your head. I what don't want you to thing? know. This is terrible. I actually <laughs> felt real comfortable in my beanie. And I feel naked. But um, no, yeah, man. That's be so hot in the house with a beanie. Nah, it's, but no, I'm fucking. Cold. My house is nice and chill right now, bro. But yeah, I don't. I ain't fucking with no fucking no elephants, no bears, shit that could roll over on me and kill me. I'm good. Damn, I wonder if that's how the gerbils felt when they saw me playing with them. <laughs> gerbils are like, yo, we fucked up. We got a Tony for a pet, yo. That master. <laughs> oh, man. But I think Doe might be on to something with a cat, though, honestly. Because he's already got, he knows how to kind of domesticate the cats. He caught a wild cat, domesticated cat. And some people would say that cat domesticated Doey. Damn. Some some people mean, also, some people claim you can't domesticate a cat. Like they they choose to be with humans for like their own needs. They're not actually domesticated. I trained my old cat, Black Tip, aka Tippy. I trained him. I cut his hair. I gave him. On, I put him on, on a leash and gave him a walk. People looked at me crazy. You can train a cat to walk on a leash, bro. It's a fucking thing. I don't know if you guys know that or not. It's a thing. So, whatever. But, brings me into my next topic. Our final topic. You can't really take care of animals or anything when you sleep in all damn day long in the bed. Me, I that's all I want to do is just sleep in. But you can't once you're a father can't sleep in growing up it was a problem sleeping in i really don't understand that my parents hated it even as an adult you get looked at wrong for sleeping in i can't even sleep in if i really wanted to i can't sleep in why is that a fucking problem as an adult as a kid growing up why is it why can't we not just sleep in on the weekends sleep until 10 o'clock it's not even asking for that much 10 o'clock 11 the latest why can't we just sleep in? Like, I don't understand that. Like, none of y'all went through this as, as a kid or in dealing with it now, like, where y'all just can't sleep in because no one's letting you or it's a look frowned upon. Like, it is definitely an experience I had. I also didn't make this connection earlier, but it's interesting this topic because you shit all over Doey all the time for sleeping in. <laughs> and I didn't even make that connection until you were ranting just now as you're introducing this topic. <laughs> well, that's different. We niggas got to handle business in the morning. Doughboy just wants to sleep just to be an asshole. It's a difference. I would argue that Doughy's got a better excuse for sleeping in than I did as a kid because he works that second shift job where he's, you know, his schedule is shifted several hours outside of what outside of my schedule. I have no excuse other than I smoke myself into a coma sometimes. <laughs> I smoke so much weed that I'm just like, I'm going to go take a nap. <laughs> like, I'm just like, a, it's good nap time. <clears throat> um, So, yeah, that's uh, those are ma- a majority of the time my reasons that I nap. Um, But I am a firm believer that naps are necessary like it especially if you're the type of person 
that likes to stay up many hours and like get the maximum amount of time out of your day, like getting a good nap, maybe one hour, one hour and a half in between that, you can boost your, not only boost your productivity, but stay up more hours. So I'm a firm believer in, um, getting your sleep getting your sleep when listening to your body hey i'm tired hey let's go sit down and rest a little bit my body is telling me i'm tired um taking a nap is the same way you're sleepy and rest for a little bit um i feel like you can be a lot more productive ladies and gentlemen you hear the the, is, the is that what I'm, there? I'm trying is to that like, coming from you the ice cream truck that music? is the beginning of summer if if anyone wants to know that when Mr. summer Softy? starts yeah when it starts in new york it is when you start to hear mr softy april okay? 15th is the beginning yeah. of summer yeah so like it's technically <laughs> it's technically spring but no like it's it's summer like mr softy's out it's summer that's wild do people still <laughs> pop the fire hydrants over there every summer? That's yeah. so beast. Is that a, every is that, is that is that a frowned on? That's not like a thing you're that they want no. you to do, right? No, and even um, the FDNY they they've realized like instead of combating it, they've realized like hey, a lot of these low income people they can't get out to the beaches, they can't get out to the water parks. This is their water park. So they've installed and they've given supers like the caps to put on so that the water pressure doesn't get lowered when they do that. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's awesome because it's weird. You'll see these open things and everybody takes advantage to start washing their cars, all sorts of shit. What? Like, yeah, there's this, op this open water source. Uh, and then everybody starts to go around it. It's it's really cool. It's um, it's a staple of Uptown and like Bronx and Harlem and stuff like that. You don't see people in the fucking Flatiron District doing this shit. <laughs> um, <laughs> one thing that was very funny, um, the tour buses started coming all the way uptown, and like a lot of the locals didn't like that shit so if you could if you take a wood plank You've and like them, put it up against you can get it to like go far and aim it and bro they would start to wet all the tourists that were sitting on the second floor they would have fucking jet stream them <laughs> yeah that shit was hilarious um even in the summer over here you'll see people giving tours of my neighborhood and it's just a one bunch of white people with just kind of cameras <laughs> and it's just like i i don't know for me it's just like it's a part of gentrification that i guess you got to be okay with it does make it feel like you're an, an exhibit or something right? yeah look at them in their natural habitat <laughs> it's like look at these dude, animals I'm just trying, dude i'm just trying to eat a chopped cheese just leave yeah. the fuck alone <laughs> But um, sleeping in, man. Why did your mom ever yell at you for sleeping in as a kid growing up? Though, it made me feel like I was guilty of a, of a crime, of a war crime. Like if I committed a war crime, God forbid, I slept past ten nine a.m. Damn. Um, and then it's like the way that they force you to wake up: play loud Spanish music. Start fregando, but when they're when they're cleaning, they start to talk about how ungrateful you are, <laughs> and just in the third person, That's oh, I, what That's am I here? You know, I'm just everybody's slave. I'm a slave. I'm a slave to everyone in this house. Facts. And you'll be you'll be sleeping in the best sleep that you've ever gotten. And then you'll just hear yelling from over yonder. <laughs> and it's just your mom just, and, and you know what I can get, I can get with it, right? Like they're the only one cleaning up after us and stuff like that. But it, it's uh, something that I can remember very fondly as being woken up by just yells. And I just couldn't sleep after that. You know what I hate the most is when you're laying there, right? You're sleeping. You're good, bro. I'm talking about it's the best fucking sleep you're getting, right? And then they'll open your door. Matt Close Hart. it. Matt Hart, close it. Pah. 
And then they'll be on the phone talking to Fulano. Oh, the niño, da, 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 he don't want to wake up. He doesn't want to help me. Da, 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 da. Then the music, blam. And then they'll come back and open your door with the music blurring. Oh, he's still sleeping. Doesn't want to do nothing. Yo, get out. Da, 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 da. And, bro, you're just there like, bro, just leave me alone, dog. Just leave me alone. And then next thing you know, they start fucking spraying mad chemicals. All in the fucking air. You're like, oh, well, they break out God, the bleach. Bro. Bro, They'll I, break out the bleach. The worst. They'll break out the bleach. That shit wakes you up. I'm sorry. Yeah. That shit wakes you up, bro. It's like, I fucking hated that shit. You hear Spanish music, it's a rap. It's a fucking rap when you hear Spanish music. Unreasonably loud. Unreasonably loud. There is listening level. This is like two, three times over listening level. My, uh, my my parents did it a little different. Uh, they did it maybe a little bit more aggressively. Open the door, flip those lights on, close the door. That, 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 was, that was one of their methods. My mom would, would vacuum right outside the door. All of a sudden, it's uh, summer vacation. It's Monday, and I'm sleeping in too late. And all of a sudden, she decides she has to vacuum right outside my door at 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock in the morning because I haven't left my room yet. I'm still sleeping. Um, and then, you know, there's the nicknames. It's like, oh, I'm glad you could join us, blah, blah, blah. Like, good job. <laughs> oh, yeah. well, good morning, Sleepy. Oh, you almost missed it. It's 11 o'clock. You almost <laughs> missed the morning. Like, all that bullshit. <laughs> That's the worst part. <laughs> it's like you wake up and they're giving you shit for it. They're like, oh, God, for you to join us. Yeah, there's still some breakfast here from the morning. <laughs> it's like, it's still fucking morning. Like, what are we talking about? Fucking summer break, man. You know what? A couple of times I would get up early. I'd get up at 8 o'clock. And you know what I got to treat myself to? Nothing. There's nothing on TV at that point. No one else is awake, so no one else wants to go and do anything at 8 o'clock in the fucking morning. What the hell is the point of that on my summer vacation? I You're muted it. all, by the way, Doe. <laughs> so for me, the only time I wanted to be up that early was when I was super young. And I'm yeah. talking about we were up early um, when I was in fourth grade, fifth grade, sixth grade. I remember my mom would drop us off eight or six thirty in the morning, bro. And we would min max all of our video game playing. We would oh, we're going to go Resident Evil for a little bit and then we're going to switch over. We had our Brady games ready. <laughs> we already had the games rented from Friday night. <laughs> you know, it was a big thing for me as a kid. Um and I remember as a child being up super fucking early, bro. So as a kid, it wasn't as much as a problem. It was when I hit puberty. I don't know what it is about that. You're just growing and shit like that. That I just like I started to sleep in and stuff like that. You could say I'm hitting puberty now. I'm Are you hitting your second see, puberty? I'm sitting my second <laughs> puberty. Oh, yeah. Fuck. No way. Don't yeah. sleep. That's a fact. Yeah. You know what I did one time I flipped it on them right I got up early and I started cleaning And I started blasting fucking music Lo and behold they didn't like you that shit You can't do that Yeah you they can't do that did not. Oh yeah muchacha wow. Cabron yeah. I'm like nah Ungrateful yeah, Disrespectful bro. You got it all and, I, and I'm talking about I had the, all of the smells in the air. I had the volume max. I'm smacking dishes for no reason. That's and they, fucking, they got up that's, tight. That's great. I'm picturing you at 5 o'clock in the morning. They come out yelling at you. You're like, oh, there's some breakfast, mate. You almost missed it. But I still got some <laughs> breakfast <laughs> you, left over. You almost missed 6 in the morning. You almost <laughs> missed it. <laughs> Bro, they, that's the most petty <laughs> shit you could do as a kid, bro. It's just like, yeah, they didn't like it. I'll tell you that much. I'll be the, that was the last time I did that. But yeah, they didn't like that shit at all. What about you, Pooch? Your mom ever hit you with the wake the fuck up right now? Mostly to my brother. Um, Damn. Me and my big brother, we're, we've always been early birds. We're always awake. So it didn't happen to us too much. But it wasn't so much the waking up. It was more like... We would wake up on a Saturday and start playing video games or watching TV, and we would get all the same comments. It would be like, "Oh, this house is such a mess." When are you gonna? Or my mother would just go in the room and start cleaning around, but she ain't like really cleaning. She's like just making a fuss to like, like, um, to basically guilt trip me and then talk shit to me until I would get up and start cleaning. 
And this is every single Saturday in my mother's house without <laughs> fail. Every single Saturday, we had to clean the whole house. It was sweep everything. It was wash any dishes. My, my mom never left dishes in the sink though. But it was, and then it was like, you gotta clean all the glass with the Windex. All the wood gets the wood cleaner. Um, and it was this was every Saturday. Pick up every single thing, clean them. It was terrible every single Saturday. Um, and that, that that was my life growing up every Saturday. And I would be so tight because I'm like, some days I just wanted to like be in my bed playing video games or watching TV or some shit. And my mother would come through and just be like, you're never going to clean this room? It's so uh, dirty. And you I'm got like, one oh, shirt on the ground. Okay. Yeah. It was a force, though. It was a it was a force. Once the music started playing or like when my brother started wiping things down, it was like, all right, if I don't start doing it now, I'm going to hear it forever. Like, um, <laughs> so, I mean, it was it was good, you know, in the sense of like, you know, you clean your own space and things like that. Like, you know, kids need that type of discipline. But in the moment, it was horrible. I just wanted to, like, do I was trying to play my Resident Evil. Yeah. I was trying to play, like, whatever the fuck. Metal Gear, all this shit. And I was like, I ain't trying to fucking clean glass on a Saturday morning. Like. Then you smell, like, all the cleaning products. And then you got to go take a shower and shit. And just, that shit is the worst. But it built it built discipline, like you said. It, it, the it, weirdest is when you're staying over your friend's house, and then the mom starts to do that routine the next morning. Oh, you're getting <laughs> you're, the secondhand guilt. You like it. I want to call my mom. I want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> nah, my, I've like, never you, experienced that one. Usually, you yeah. get to get away I, with I, it. I, I, I have. I felt awkward, so I started cleaning, too. I was like, I, I don't know what else to do. I'm cleaning for my life over here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fighting for my life. <laughs> now, it, the 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 switch, though, be like, if you are if you just wanted to take a nap in the afternoon and shit, they would talk shit. They'd be like, oh, he was out all night. <laughs> You're like, I clean my room. I'm helping pay whatever bills I got to help. Like, let a brother take a little nap. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck, it's the weekend. Like, oh, he was out all night. He was, and it's like, oh my god. It's Dang. not even moms. I noticed a lot of people don't like seeing other people sleep a lot. I've noticed that. Like, I I don't know if it's because like we relate sleep to death or something like that. Um, and. We just want people to be alive and awake. I don't know what that is, but I've it's not even moms. I've gotten that comment from like everyone. There is there is that whole philosophy that people say that if you're not working on something productive, you're just wasting your time, right? So whether you're sleeping, whether you're doing a leisure activity, like like uh, reading a book that's not going to help your career or help you build up a skill in some way or playing a video game or something, that you just shouldn't do that. That like these relaxation activities are not useful to becoming a better person so you shouldn't do them i don't agree with that one i think leisure activities are extremely important i think it's very important to relax that's but a fact some, some people feel that way leisure is the only thing worth doing <laughs> like everything else sucks like everything else you're doing you're doing to get to maximize your leisure like, I agree. Anybody who's on some like every free moment I get, I'm working on other hustles. It's like you're living a sad fucking life, bro. Sounds like, exhausting. It's like the people who read all them self help books. I'm like, when will you be helped? Like, when <laughs> will it happen? Like you're reading all these books all the time. You just hopping from one self help to the next. Like when will you achieve help? Like when will it happen? When when will you? Like, acquire these skills you're reading about, or like, I don't know. I find that shit weird that the people who read all those books, they want to judge other people for not reading those things. I don't know. I mean, think about it. Um, a self help book is just a different type of how to book, right? If you want to learn how to, you know, build a car, you read mechanic books and uh, stuff, you know, manuals and shit like that. And I just think that's just a different version of that. Not everybody has like the answers and like a grounded foundation when they're growing up. 
So sometimes they just need somebody else's knowledge and like how to I, maneuver. I think most self-help books, most motivational speakers, most life coaches, I think they're mostly full of shit. That Damn. that's my hot take. I, th I think most of those people are just fucking hustlers that are just trying to earn a buck. I think they're full of shit. I agree that there is some level of hustle going on there. Um, but I can't just like I say with religion, if it's helping you become a better person, whatever it is that you latch on to, <laughs> if as long as you're trying to be a better person. I can knock you. Yeah. You know what I mean? If that if that shit's getting you to where you need to be to be a better person or be on the level that you want to be, I, I'm not one to knock it. Yo, side. Uh, I just thought about it right now. Side topic. Where does the where's the worst place to sleep? Me is a church. I used to fall asleep so easily at church. Like that's the super frowned upon. What do you mean by like, worse? Yeah, I know upon, because like, that seems like, like the best. Like, like, what's if you're sleeping? Like, wh why people are gonna look at you? Like, are you fucking? Are you serious? Oh, like, where's where's the worst place to get bagged sleeping? Is what you're saying? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, that's a better way of putting it. Where's where's on the, worst the place? fucking on the fucking school bus in elementary school? Damn, the you got absolute with? worst place. Everyone got fucked. If you fell asleep on the bus, someone you were getting fucked with. That was the, that was the way it worked on the school bus. High school, middle school, doesn't matter. <laughs> you're getting fucked with on the bus if you fall asleep in that bus. I would say. At your like, if you're chilling with your boys and you fall asleep, like you're done, like you're blacked out, sleeping drunk. That's I think that's the worst to fall asleep at. I don't know, dude. You ever been on a one of those late night bus trips back from a fucking football game? Uh, like back in high school, like coming back from like an out of town game, falling asleep on the bus. Everyone's gonna fuck with you, and it's it's a bunch of like teenage boys that are all hyped up on adrenaline because they just finished a fucking football game. You're getting fucked with. That's a fact. I've I've had an issue with sleep apnea for a long time. I got my adenoids taken out. I got my tonsils taken out as a kid. But before that, I used to fall asleep a lot. Like I'd have in four, eight hours of sleep. I'd fall asleep at school all the time. I'd fall asleep so much and they couldn't wake me up. Yo, one time they left me in the class, a second grader, <laughs> and they took everybody to lunch and they left me in the class sleeping. That's fucked up, dude. Um, and I and I had to go figure out where everybody was at. I think that's why I have like nightmares and everything is always at school. Um, another time when I was down in Florida, once again, they they contacted my mom, like, yo, your son's passing out in the middle <laughs> of class. And we can't wake him up. Like, he's just knocked the fuck out. Um, so this shit started to uh, happen in church. And then the pastor would be giving a grand speech. And it'd just be like... <laughs> <laughs> Some little five-year-old in the back. Bro, the, the whole church would break out into giggles. And it was like disrupting the church. And it was it was bad, bro. My mom would like shove me, wake me up. <laughs> oh, she was she wasn't okay with you passing out at church, but at she the was class, cool. Was but it's no, 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 no. That's why I, I I ended up going and getting my tonsils taken out. I said this is before. Oh, before all oh. those yeah, all those incidents are what led up to me getting sleep tested and shit like that. Um, but That's yeah, funny. that that was pretty. I, it was pretty bad. I, I'm an animal. You know the best sleep you're going to get outside of your house? It's on the plane. <laughs> you're taking a trip somewhere. That plane sleep, that plane sleep is Hell the no. best. Hell, that's the worst. I can't fall asleep in a plane. Yo, last year, I took a trip down to Fort Myers to see my nephew. There was a lot of turbulence on that plane bro it was almost like the turbulence rocked rocked, rocked me to sleep, to sleep. <laughs> bro i was like this uh, and just sleeping the whole time <laughs> just and it, it just rocked me to bed i was like listen if i'm gonna die i'm gonna die in my sleep i'm not even gonna know <laughs> i'm gonna go i'm gonna go out <laughs> I go wish I'd be too out. nervous for that shit. Like whenever there'd be turbulence, I'd be holding on like I could like survive. Nah, Obviously, man. I can't. But my thing is, if the plane goes down. 
whatever's going to happen is going to happen. Hopefully I'll wake up when it's on its way down so I can take some kind of life-saving maneuver, put that mask on, you know, or whatever they want you to do. The only thing I can describe it similarly to is being on the subway and the subway rocking you to sleep when you have a long trip. That's the only thing I can describe it as. Like I, the subway be putting me to sleep too. That's why I stand up on the subway. Yeah. For me, the best sleep that I ever used to get was on the bus. I used to ride the bus <laughs> to the boxing gym and it would take like an hour to get to the gym. And I had to switch buses and shit like that. It's crazy. Your body remembers the stops and shit. Like, yep. I would just wake up and then get off the bus. Like, see, and and you know that sleep. Oh, it just used to feel so cozy. Like, like it, it's weird. It, it's kind of like the airplane. Like something about planes. When I get on them, in a short while, I get unbelievably tired. Like something about the air and the plane or something. So it triggers something that I just want to fall asleep. Like, I almost can't stay awake. It's probably and, rich in oxygen and they're not telling us or something. <laughs> but it, the bus feels like that, too. I put my head on the dirty ass window and I was like, yeah, and I just slowly doze off and I see people coming and going. Um, and the bus is where I do my best reading, too. Bus, I, I've bus, read plenty of books on the bus. Buses also put me to sleep, but I'm always too paranoid. I don't. I've never really had to deal with like public transportation, like switching buses and switching trains and all that. So it's always like a new thing whenever I'm visiting like New York or something. Right. Yeah. So I'm too paranoid to fall asleep on the subway or on the bus. I'm like, I'm going to miss my fucking stop and then I'm going to be lost. I'm going to have to look at that indecipherable subway map to figure out what my next transfer is. And I'm, I'm fucked. <laughs> a few years ago, they took a picture of a guy who had a hat on. And it had like a a code messenger. It the, it just scrolled by. It said, "Wake me up when we get to one twenty fifth Street." <laughs> that man That's is funny. living in the, in the fucking thirtieth century, dude. <laughs> that is awesome, bro. I wonder if anybody people, woke him people up. People wake you up in New York too. Yeah, they'll tap you real quick. Yeah, That's fire. I know. I think the best sleep for me is. Uh, those car rides like going to orlando and shit like once you start if you're not driving and that ac hits it's about something about the ac hitting you right and you just do like a little slouch you're out cold like i fall asleep so quick on car rides it's so fucking ridiculous like even but it's some of the worst places to fall asleep yeah because depending on who's driving they'll guilt trip you for falling asleep they'll be like what kind of wingman are you you supposed to be to riding me. shotgun you falling asleep on me yeah you've done I that to me I do agree with that. If the person's in the back seat, if it's like the third or fourth person in the car, you can fall asleep. That's allowed. Yeah. The person in that passenger seat, though, they're supposed to be your wingman. They're supposed to be your co-pilot on that trip. Yep. Fuck out of here. That shit is the worst. <laughs> unless, gonna... you're swap, unless you're swapping driving responsibilities. If you're swapping driving responsibilities, that's different. You want them rested for the road, right? We know what Tony doing was doing that... last week. He was sleeping. Oh, yeah. Neff son. drove back and forth. Yeah. I was up, though. I was up. On the way back down, yeah, I was out. I was <laughs> dazed out. Neff's a champ. Four hours back and forth. Yeah, I, no you want me to, I was like, you want me to drive? He's like, no, nah, I got it. I'm good. Ta-ta. Passed out. It's a long-ass <laughs> drive, bro. It's the best time to have prideful-ass people. Because they'll just whip it. They'll be like, nah, I could do it with no sleep. Watch. Do it straight. And my uncle was like that. He'd drive from New York to Florida and like Oh no. He was trying to set like world record paces. Like my grandmother was on diabetes medicine. So she had to pee a lot. And and he was getting pissed off <laughs> because cause my dad, right? Many years my dad made the trip from New York to Florida in like seventeen hours or some shit. Like oh that. shit. And then my uncle was always trying to beat that time. And the one time he was doing the trip, he was with my grandmother. And, and she would keep saying, like, oh, I got to stop to pee. Oh, I got to stop to pee. And at some point, he's like, take the fucking medicine away from her. <laughs> he's like, fuck the diabetes. We're taking the medicine away. She's not stopping to pee. That's like, we're so getting beast. there. <laughs> yeah. Poor lady, man. Damn. Prideful people, man. They'll drive the whole way. You don't, you don't got to worry about it. Like, I mean, that sounds on the shorter end because I remember we 
we've made that trip a few times and i think 19 hours but that was to get to jacksonville so we're not even talking and in oh, jacksonville you still got like five hours left but like hours. to get to florida we, it took us 19 hour drive all the way through that's for dicks from New York to Florida. I'm not driving. Yeah, Google Maps says 17 hours and 53 minutes, Palm Beach to New York City. Yeah, but you got to think about it with um, traffic. You don't know what's going to happen. A car crash or two could fuck all of that up. Eating yeah. food. Yeah. Uh, everything, right? Yeah. So I'm saying these men were, they were hitting it and they were like, imagine not trying to stop for food. They're like, yo, we're eating gas station food. Grab chips. Like, hurry up, get back in the car. Like, I'm going to, I'm going to beat this time. No, that's I'll be on that too sometimes. I'll be like, nah, I could do this in X amount of time. And there was a time where Pucho and Lisa would come down, they'd be like, Oh, we did it in two hours and ten minutes. And then when I'm going up, I'm clocking my time. And I used to hit them with the time. They'd be like, Nah, you ain't do it. I'm like, damn, I did do it. There, like, if you're in the right setting with the right people, road trips can be very magical and very bonding. Um, it could be a really good experience. I remember one time me and Cisco rode to the house in Orlando where we died. We died of sweat. I talked about it once. That was also where me and him bonded. We bonded on that road trip. We sang songs together. Right? We were just we were like two young women in their prime, all right? <laughs> just singing and enjoying ourselves. And I was like, this I really fuck with this nigga. I'm like, this thing, I really fuck with this nigga. So I it's also like it almost feels like a spiritual experience sometimes. If you have the right people with you, you can create memories that you'll have forever. I'm letting yeah. you know, if we're in a car and you pass out next to me, I'm fucking with you. It's like you, me, Doe, Mateo, Zeus, um, whoever, ever, Brian, I don't give a fuck. It's just us niggas? Oh, yeah, I'm fucking with you. 100%. What if we're, what if we're six people crammed into an Uber at 2 o'clock in the morning in New York City in the Bronx? <laughs> me laying on top of everybody in the back? I was I was just like this laying on that everyone. Was that shit was we didn't even ask that man if he would let us do this. We just mobbed his car. I think, and we were like, now this is happening. I think that guy turned around and was like, boy. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, fuck it. Like, y'all better tip me because that yeah, his little Honda Civic, man, that shit was low to the ground. So, but this topic went kind of yeah some weird places huh <laughs> definitely but i'll tell you what man fucking if you've lasted this long in this episode give us a thumbs up like it share it subscribe to our youtube page i feel like i say this constantly subscribe I know you guys out there are, are, are laughing at our little shorts and stuff man just hit the subscribe button you can see even more and laugh more and, and 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 comment. We love comments. Pucho loves reading them. Mateo loves reading them. I love hearing about it. Doughboy loves reading them and hearing about it. Shit's funny. I appreciate it. We all appreciate it. Real quick, I'm gonna read out some um some of just the most recent likes that we've gotten. Uh, shout out to Cleopatra Records, hmm. Sam De Leon. Oh, that's. This is my Instagram. Never mind. Um, wow. <laughs> Beer and Tr- Baron Trek, <laughs> Lena, Tyler, Evan Hoy, eighteen, um, simping from me. I love you, baby. Um, Jay Horn. We got Broshi. Shout out to Broshi. Um, C Smith. Yo, Crystal comments on almost every Instagram thing. Shout out to you, Crystal. We got Zash1, um, Kina Galvin. Don't know who you are? You comment and like all of our stuff. Thank you. She, she's holding it down in Chicago, dude. Yeah, I, I appreciate you. Uh, real quick on the Twitter side. Let's see. Let's get off of mine. Let's do real quick. We got the Mad Belmont. Shout out to you. You are a very cool guy. I like you a lot. I like your your Halloween content. Pillow Fort, constantly liking, constantly commenting. We appreciate you a lot. Um, 
And I think that's about it, Mr. Jeep. You, my friend, are a terrible person. That's Get true. out of here. We don't want you here. Close the window. <laughs> I'm a, I'm you think he's going to keep that beard forever? Is he going to keep the beard forever? Yeah. His hair is just going to keep growing forever, dude. That's he's crazy. actually coming. He's actually on his way into, into Austin, uh, allegedly, tonight. I'm, I'm going to go kick it with him at some point. <laughs> well, awesome. for all those that he just announced, round of applause. <laughs> Sound on. Shut up. Mm, shut up. Mm. 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 Just sexy. Die sexy. every mm. time I tap that shit. Shit is hot. Shit Yo, is hot shout ready. out to all y'all fans out there, man, for commenting. Keep commenting. Tell us how we doing and how we don't. I don't care. We love the vibes. Just subscribe to the YouTube page. Like us. Share us on Facebook. And like always, people, go one up yourself. Deuces. Later.